In this lesson, we look at network topologies. A network topology is the arrangement of network segments and devices. It can be physical layout or a logical layout. The topologies we consider include ring topology, bus topology, star topology, and mesh. You can download the script for this video from above or at the end of the video. The script contains the tables and graphics shown in the following slides. Again, a network topology is the structure and arrangement of the various network nodes and their connections depicted as links between the nodes. Topologies can be created logically or physically. Further, an enterprise network can include two or more of the topologies we discuss. Physical topology is the placement of physical devices and the associated cabling. Logical topology can differ from the physical topology of a network as it represents the actual flow of data. In ring topologies, data travels around a circular path. Each device on the network gets a turn to transmit. One example of this is token ring. In token ring, a token is passed around the ring, checking each device in turn to see if it needs to transmit data. Only the device with the token can transmit on the network. When a packet is sent, the token accompanies it. Each device checks to see if the packet was sent to it. If not, it places the packet back onto the ring along with the token. Once the packet and token arrive at the intended recipient, the receiving device keeps the packet and returns the token to the network. A challenge with physical ring topologies is the failure of the entire network if one device on the network fails. This is because each connected device makes up a part of the ring. This is not a commonly used technology today. It does not scale for larger organizations. And while small networks can use this, Ethernet has largely replaced token ring network protocols, and Ethernet does not use a token. Bus topologies are divided into two types, tree bus and linear bus. At the top of this graphic, you see a tree bus created by connecting devices to a hub. The hub is connected to a linear bus. A linear bus is a single cable run, terminated at each end, to which devices are typically connected with vampire taps or T connectors. These bus cables are usually coax. For a deep look at coax and other cable types, watch the video above. In both types, all devices on the network see all packets. Instead of using a token, as in ring topology, Ethernet, the most popular network topology today, uses carrier sense multiple access with collision detection, or CSMA slash CD. When a device wants to send a packet to another device, it steps through a series of steps. It checks to see if the transmission medium, in this example the bus, is available. Then, if the medium is available, the sending device starts transmitting and monitors for a collision with one or more other transmissions. If a collision occurs, the device steps through the collision management process until it gets an opening for transmission. This process is clearly shown in the CSMA CD Wikipedia article at the link shown. Finally, the transmission is initiated. Again, all devices on the bus or connected to the hub see every packet placed on the transmission medium. So a bus constitutes both a collision and a broadcast domain. For a detailed look at domain separation and segmentation, watch the video above. Like the ring topology, the failure of one device on the linear bus causes the entire network to fail. In a star topology, devices are attached to a network management device, such as a switch. If a device connected to the switch fails, no other devices are affected. Advantages cited by the CISSP CBK include more efficient use of cabling, and easier to detect and replace failing cable. Further, star topology using a layer three switch enables control of packets. 
In other words, a device can only see a packet it is allowed to see. Finally, note the use of a hub in this example. This is a case of using one or more topologies on a network. A star bus topology is attached to a star topology. In a full mesh topology, every device is connected to every other device on the network. Partial mesh implementations, as shown here, stop short of connecting every device to all other devices. Mesh topologies introduce maximum resiliency or redundancy into network operations. The problem with mesh is the cost of extensive cabling and other required network devices. I've never implemented a mesh-based network. Instead, best practice is to create one or two redundant pathways to critical resources, along with creating redundant servers and appliances that provide critical services. Well, that's it for this lesson. If you have questions, please ask. And until next time, be careful what you click.